In order to use Google Bard, you need a Google account. When you have that, you just go to bard.google.com and you can use it. I'll leave a link in the description. Unlike ChatGPT, Bard is connected to the internet, which means you get up-to-date information. So down here you can type in whatever you want to know. Let's for example ask who won the Women's Soccer World Cup 2023. And as you can see, Bard isn't that great yet and sometimes needs a little bit of a nudge. So let's tell Bard that it's already over and here we get our answer. One great thing here is that Bard often gives you sources. Well, if you let Wikipedia pass as a source this time. And if you aren't satisfied, you can just click on Google it down there and even get suggestions on what you might want to Google. And up here you can modify the response. So if you want it shorter, longer, simpler or whatever, you can simply click on it. Here on the side you can see your past conversations or open a new chat. And up here you can switch from light to dark mode. I'm definitely keeping dark mode. One last thing is that down here you can upload pictures to Bart, so Bart can describe them for example. But currently Bart is pretty pretty bad at that. So I guess you can test it for yourself if you want. So that's basically it. Bart is intuitive, easy to use and very similar to ChatGPT. If you are now burning for a few amazing prompts to get your AI journey started, I got you covered. You can get a few great beginner prompts by clicking the link in the description right away. And I'll see you in the next video where I talk about how biased Bart is in some areas right over here.